The current era of globalization is a dynamic world system of ever-increasing speed and connectivity that demands constant adaptation and microevolution in all facets of life, including art. How has globalization changed the art industry? It has changed it in very fundamental ways. Um, number one, um, a lot of traditional arts, for example, the Australian Aborigines, have totally changed the way they make art. They used to make art painting on ground and on rocks. That, however, cannot be sold. So when um, Westerners began to get very interested in Australian Aboriginal art, they began to make it on portable means, on bark and canvas, so it could be sold in galleries. And once what was a very sacred religious art form is now bought by Westerners all over the world so it can grace their living rooms and bedrooms and does not serve its sacred function any longer. What you have to be, everything me. I can't believe what's falling from your mouth. Why'd you have to go and tell me that you know that this ain't gonna work out likely? If we survive the winter, we might be around for spring. I survive myself, I'll survive anything. She says, we're like Mona Lisa, shattered on the ground into a million little pieces. The uniqueness of every painting was once part of the uniqueness of the place where it resided. Sometimes the painting was transportable, but it could never be seen in two places at the same time. When the camera reproduces a painting, it destroys the uniqueness of its image. As a result, its meaning changes, or more exactly, its meaning multiplies and fragments into many meanings. I let my guard down, baby I let you in I can't do that again If we survive tomorrow, you know it's just I had known of the Mona Lisa since I was in preschool. I could remember watching Sesame Street's Elmo sing about the Mona Lisa as he stood in front of a giant reproduction of the work, which I perceived to be the real thing. Then, when I visited the Louvre, when I was face to face with the Mona Lisa herself, all I could think was, that's not what I expected. My real life experience of a timeless work of art was cheapened by my previous artificial experiences of mechanical and digital reproductions of the work. How has globalization changed the way people experience art? It has changed, again, in radical ways. People used to go to museums and galleries to look at art, but because of the internet, you can go on virtual tours of galleries and museums, which is fine if you cannot afford to, but one should never um, accept the internet experience for viewing real works of art. On one's computer screen, everything looks exactly the same size, and you lose the texture and the experience of seeing art in person which can be a very emotional and visceral experience. globalization affected artists who hold true to the old school way of thought versus those who take full advantage of new technology and ideas? Um, I think that that is a very important question. I think some artists are working in, in their old traditional ways and turning out a variety of art, some very high quality and perhaps some not so. Other artists are getting influences from the far corners of the world by the internet because they're seeing what a lot of artists are producing 
around the world. Today, modern art has many tools, and many of them are digital, such as Photoshop, to make digital designing much easier and more efficient. While the computer, Photoshop allows one to alter the color, style, shape, and the most any component of a digital photograph with little training or instruction. A person that has no formal artistic training can make an artistic and beautiful photograph.